Kenichi Ami, The Mind of the Strategist, The Art of Japanese Business. Welcome to the summary of The Mind of the Strategist, The Art of Japanese Business by Kenichi Ami. Prepare to explore the unique strategic insights that have contributed to the remarkable success of Japanese companies, despite their lack of formal planning processes and sophisticated technology. In this summary, we will uncover the vital aspects of strategic thinking, which lie in the perfect combination of intuition and analysis. You will learn about the critical issue identification, various paths to achieving competitive advantage, and the common pitfalls to avoid on the way. Strategic Success Unwrapped Japanese companies have achieved tremendous success while lacking formal strategic planning processes. Instead, they rely on visionary leaders with intuitive insight into market positioning. This type of leader is becoming rare in today's world, where organizations value analysis and numbers over creativity and intuition. Strategy is not a formula or set of facts but rather an attitude and way of thinking that maximizes advantage. Great strategists are like great artists, balancing analysis and intuition to achieve success. The success of Japanese companies has long puzzled the world, leading many to assume they had a secret formula or insight. However, it is surprising to know that these firms have no formal processes of strategic planning, lean or non-existent planning staffs, and rudimentary technologies, yet they still manage to penetrate new markets and establish supremacy in a wide range of industries. The truth is, strategic success cannot be reduced to a formula, nor can anyone become a strategic thinker merely by reading a book. In Japan, strategic insights often reside in one person, usually the founder, who has an intuitive understanding of how the market works and where the company should position itself. These insights are creative, unorthodox, and often radically new. Unfortunately, this type of visionary leader is becoming obsolete. In both the East and the West, organizational and institutional pressures push aside the prophetic visionary, elevating the number-crunching rationalist instead. U.S. corporations are full of central planners who try to control every detail of policy, procedure, resource allocation, risk, and return. However, this sort of approach does not lead to strategic success. Strategy is always the product of an attitude and a way of thinking that weighs and reassesses as circumstances change, with maximum advantage in mind. Great strategists are like great artists, balancing analysis and intuition to achieve success. In conclusion, while analysis is an integral part of strategy, it is not the end-all and be-all. Strategy is intuitive, but it is also analytical, it is analytical, but also intuitive. The purpose of strategy is to maximize one's advantage, and it begins with dissecting a set of facts to find the optimal order that makes strategic sense. Identify the critical issue. Learn how to identify the crucial question to solve a problem in business using a disciplined method. In the book summary, the author emphasizes the importance of identifying the critical issue before solving any business problem. To get to the correct question, you must frame it correctly. Using the example of reducing overtime costs, the author presents three alternative questions, highlighting the importance of asking the right one. To arrive at a workable definition of the critical issue, you can use a disciplined methodology that applies to a broad range of business issues. The methodology involves diagramming the issue or question, identifying the issue components, questioning each component, and offering a specific plan of action for each issue component. Unfortunately, many business people ignore the most critical questions and assume the easiest solution, but it takes a certain disciplined creativity to question what everyone else takes for granted. However, using this methodology, anyone can learn how to identify the crucial issue that matters most in solving a problem in business. Competitive Advantage The most important aspect of strategy is gaining a sustainable edge over competitors. A company cannot survive competitive inadequacy. People change their focus when faced with competition. The point is to gain an advantage over the competition at a reasonable cost. This can be accomplished through reallocating resources, focusing on relative strengths, 
redefining the key issue of the business with a bold stroke, and being free. Identifying key success areas and applying the right resources can lead to real competitive superiority. Identifying success factors. Every industry has one or two critical success factors, KFS, which can be determined by analyzing industry segments, examining the behavior of winners and losers, and formulating the question correctly. To stay ahead of competition, businesses should focus on building strength in their KFS, be it service, product design, or any other relevant area. This requires strategic thinking, consistency, and coherence. Despite the complexities of each industry, success hinges on a simple principle, collecting money at a low cost and lending it at a higher return. Finding your relative advantage. To succeed in a competitive market, businesses must identify areas where they can gain a relative advantage. This involves analyzing the product, taking competitors apart, and focusing on factors such as cost. Structural changes are slow and incremental, but can lead to long-term success. A case study of Fuji and Sakura in the photographic film market highlights the importance of identifying relative strength. While Fuji had an advantage in image quality, Sakura recognized the trend towards cost consciousness and introduced a 24 exposure film at the same price as Fuji's 20 exposure. Businesses should consider the likely reactions of competitors and be prepared to defend against them when relying on their relative strengths. The Power of Asking Why The book highlights the importance of questioning conventional wisdom in your industry. Taichi Ono's just-in-time material management practice was developed by asking why car companies needed to keep costly inventory. By continuously asking why, you can make breakthroughs. Maximizing strategic planning. To maximize strategic planning, companies must identify key factors for success and then determine which courses of action are available to them. This involves taking advantage of strategic degrees of freedom. For example, an auto company might identify safety as a key success factor, but will need to prioritize which safety measures they can realistically implement. By focusing on areas where they have the freedom to act, companies can make the most of their resources and achieve their strategic goals. Avoiding strategic errors. Strategic thinking requires constant consideration of alternatives and flexibility to adapt to the changing market. The triangle of company, customer, and competition influences strategic decisions, but changes in any one can make it necessary to adjust. Half a loaf is better than none when it comes to strategic choices. However, strategic change can be challenging, so it's essential to avoid tunnel vision and keep all options in view. By understanding the full range of alternatives and weighing their costs and benefits, true strategic thinkers can respond flexibly to change. The Pitfalls of Narrow Strategic Planning One Japanese air conditioner company failed to compete against its rivals despite developing high-quality products at high prices. The product flopped because it was too heavy for distributors to install. This scenario highlights how a company with a higher cost structure will inevitably fail if it resort to cutthroat tactics without considering broad and comprehensive strategic planning. Outsourcing some operations may be a clear decision for some companies to focus on what they do best, but it should be based on more than just costs. Strategic planning must address not only immediate possibilities but also potential consequences. Focused customer segments. Companies should zoom in on a single customer subgroup rather than attempting to please the entire market. To accomplish this, businesses must become well acquainted with their client segment and discover why they have a comparative advantage over this category. In the 1970s, Japanese car manufacturers implemented this tactic, introducing their gas efficient compact cars to the most receptive portion of the United States market. Developing Competitive Advantage To gain a competitive advantage, businesses must focus on developing a clear edge in areas where the competitive situation allows them to do so. This involves investing in advertising, PR, and marketing, which can help to build a superior image in the minds of consumers. However, businesses must also be aware of the wider economic environment, as this can impact their competitive position. By using foresight and constantly asking why,
businesses can take many small steps towards gaining a long-term lead over the competition. As we wrap up this summary of The Mind of the Strategist, we hope you have gleaned valuable lessons about the power of strategic thinking in achieving competitive advantage. Remember that strategy begins with proper analysis and revolves around the company, customer, and competition triangle. It is essential to question assumptions, identify key success factors, and focus on your relative strengths. By staying aware of changes in the economic environment and continuously asking why, you will be better equipped to develop effective strategies and steer your organization towards success. Adopting this mindset will inspire innovation and enable you to maneuver through the dynamic world of business with confidence.